Hey guys, it's Lauren from Lipstick Chicks and today I'm going to film a mini beauty haul for you guys. It's really unexpected, I literally just went into town. It's weird that I say into town because I'm not from the town. It's weird. But I literally just ran into town to buy two things. This is four. Two. Two things. <laughs> and ended up buying a whole lot of things from um, Body Shop and Boots. And I bought a couple of things in Tiger as well, which aren't beauty related, but I might show them depending on how I feel. So anyways, I just wanted to show these things quickly because they're things that I wanted for a long time, things that are quite popular and just because, you know, why not share the things that I buy on the internet because this is 2014 and apparently that's what we do. So, I'm just going to get started because I don't want this video to be long. First place I'm going to go to, place I'm going to go to, I've been already. <laughs> First shop I'm going to start with is Boots. I went to Boots, here's the bag. Every time I go into Boots I end up spending just way more than I intended to spend and the joke is I went in there to get cotton wool and I left without the cotton wool so yeah. Boots are doing 3 for 2 at the moment on all their makeup and all their skincare so you can get 3 three makeup items for the price of 2 or 3 skincare items for the price of 2 that includes stuff like shampoo, shower gels, those kind of stuff. So I went straight to Soap and Glory because I bought Sorry about all the rustling. Yeah, I went straight to Soap and Glory because I bought some of their products last year. Maybe even early last year, 2012. It could have even have been 2012. And um, bought some of their items because I really, really wanted to try the body scrub. And this is it. It's called Foamy Fruity Bo Bobby, Bobby, Body, Body, Body Scrub. And last year, or the year before that, I tried the Buddy, Buddy, Body, what? <laughs> the year before that, I tried the Body Scrub in the Sugar Crush fragrance. And this one kind of drew my attention just because at the moment I'm using one of the scrunchy balls to wash my skin with. And I thought this would be easier to use with that instead of having to like sculpt out of the tub to use. This is like a square. I can square it on my puff and just scrub away and I think it will make a really good exfoliating combo and it smells really nice. I like sweet scents. This is sweet but it's kind of got like a manly fragrance to it. I can't explain it but it's, it's nice and fruity and then it's got an undertone, undertone, under scent of peppermint because it has got peppermint in it. I'm looking forward to that. The next thing I got is the Sugar Crush Body Wash and I got two of these um, I just really like the scent the last time I bought it I did say I don't know if I'd buy it again because it does smell nice, it is refreshing it's a lovely um, scent to have a morning shower with I just felt like I went through it way too quickly because I like to use a lot of shower gel so I can get a lot of foam and I just went through mine so so quick but I thought since it's three for two I'll go ahead and get it it's £6.50 is that a lot to pay for a shower gel? I think so and considering it is 500 mils, but still my original source was an offer for a pound so I was kind of bumped there but it's all in the hype it's all in the hype next are my makeup items and I was looking for this for ages because I am so into lipstick and that is no secret. I don't think people that know me will see me not wearing lipstick most of the time. Unless it's a bad day or a day where I'm going to be like busy all the time or a Sunday, I normally wear lipstick. And when these came out, I started to look for them but they were always sold out because people were going crazy for them and they are the Revlon Matte Lip Balms. I had the original ones of these. I had two, one in Lovesick and one in the colour Crush. This is in the in the colour Scandal. Scandal. This is in the colour Shameless, which is a purple colour, and that's my favourite kind of lip colours to wear. It's such a pretty colour. I can't open this taped up at the minute, but it's so beautiful. It's matte, which is my favourite kind of lip um, formula. And I'm really excited to wear it because I do like Frevlon and I did really like my lip balms from last year, so yay! By the way, I'm on about 65 lipsticks at the moment, which is crazy considering about a year ago I didn't even really wear them. No, the year before that I didn't wear them. 
2011 I wasn't wearing lipstick, 2012 I started, 2013 I went crazy, now we're in 2014. The next thing I bought was the brow tinted um, mascara, what am I saying? Brow drama sculpting brow mascara, that's what I'm trying to say. And this is quite new as well, I saw it when it first came out. Hmm. I saw it when it first came out and I really wanted it but they didn't have my colour. I had to go for medium brown because the um, dark brown was sold out. So I hope this works for me but I, I'm, at the moment I'm using like a clear mascara which is on its last leg and it's just so... It needs to go in the bin. I thought this would be a good thing to try, I've heard a lot about it and it's getting good reviews so why not, you know? The last thing I bought from Boots which is actually one of the things I went in for is... Um, is the Maybelline 24 hour gel eyeliner in the colour black now this is the colour black chrome which I thought oh okay it's probably just black just not as black because the other one is called intense black but it turns out it's black with silver glitter in it which isn't what I wanted it's um I used it today it's not what I wanted because it's very it's, it doesn't show up very black at all it almost looks kind of grey but when I'm wearing smoky eyes, I think this would be a good liner to have, but I'm still going to have to go back and get the other one because nothing's going to beat that. But yeah, win some, you lose some, I guess. Next is the body shop. I went to the body shop to buy eye makeup remover and one body butter, and I always, always get sucked into these gels. I have to give credit to the salespeople in the body shop because they're always so good at their job. They really get you to buy, honestly. Every time I go in there to buy one thing, I leave with about five. This time I hold my guns down and I only bought an extra additional item that I didn't actually go in there for. But considering it was just a, you know, a duplication of what I was already going to buy, I went for it anyways. So I originally went in there to get body butters. I'm a fan of the body butters and I love them. But when I run out, I don't rush to go and buy another. The last one I was using was olive oil, so I thought I'll try something a bit sweeter, so I went in and got the Honey honey Mania body butter, and this smells quite sweet. It smells really, really sweet. It's quite strong and a bit spicy. I kind of like the scents like, scents like that in general anyways, and um, the woman recommended it, because I normally go for the body butters that are made for dry skin or very dry skin, because they're just more moisturising. And this one is intended for dry skin. So I got that one. And then I also got the blueberry one. This one was on um, limited edition, special edition. And the lady was just raving it up so, so badly. Honestly. Like, she couldn't have spoken about it anymore. But oh, it smells divine. It smells like blueberries. It just smells like blueberries and it, it does smell quite sweet and this one's also very moisturising. I put it on the back of my hand and even when I got home my hand was still so smooth and I think I'm going to love this. It's just a shame that it's limited edition. And lastly I picked up the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover because I needed a new eye makeup remover and I saw this the last time I went into the body shop but didn't buy it because I was in the process of using my Nivea one and I don't like to buy something if I haven't already finished it so I finished my Nivea eye makeup remover and I bought this one it smells, it's just fresh it doesn't have much of a scent to it, but I can. I think I'm really going to like it. It's like liquid consistency, like a watery type um, formula. I don't really like those oil makeup removers too much, but they're the best for getting off your eye makeup. They get off everything. But this one, I think I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah, that's that. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to show you, I think. Sorry about that constant beeping. It's my fire alarm. Not that there's a fire, just that I need to change the batteries in my smoke alarm. We're trying our best to get videos up as frequently as we can. It's just hard because we are really busy and we say this every single time. So I'm just going to stop saying it and just try to do my best to make more videos. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys see us soon and stay tuned for our next video whenever that will be. I don't know. But love you guys and take care. Have a nice one. Bye.